All right, for the first video in our series on ray diagrams, we're going to look at a flat mirror. With all ray diagrams, uh, you generally start by drawing your principal axis, which is just a horizontal line, and the location of your mirror. So I'm going to draw my mirror just like so, and I'm going to draw an object three units tall in front of the mirror, and we're going to determine uh, where the image is going to form. So for our first ray, we're going to start off uh, parallel to the principal axis, and all the rays on a flat mirror follow the same principle. Whatever the incoming angle is, is going to match the uh, outgoing angle of the, ref the reflected ray. Um, so this ray coming in perpendicular to the mirror will reflect back on itself. And so I can trace uh, that ray's direction on this side of the mirror uh, to help me find the image location. We're going to draw another ray uh, sort of upward at a 10 degree angle. And it's going to reflect off at 10 degrees because the incoming ray and the outgoing ray have the same angle. Again, backtrack because flat mirrors always form a virtual image. And let's do uh, 12 degrees downward. Twelve degrees in means twelve degrees out. Make sure you line it up carefully. Uh, when we backtrack, we see that all three rays uh, intersect at the same point. Which is right about here. And we can see that the height of our image matches the height of our object, which is about three units. And it's also going to have uh, left-right symmetry uh, as well. So pretty much every flat mirror diagram is going to follow those basic rules. Um, all of your rays will follow the law of reflection on the flat mirror surface. Uh, you'll end up with an image the same distance uh, from the mirror as the object and they'll both uh, be the same height. So when you stand in front of a mirror uh, and you look in, it looks like there's an identical copy of yourself uh, standing the same distance on the other side of the mirror uh, looking back at you.